Clad in black with their mouths covered, members of the Joint Trade Union Movement came to the capital city on Tuesday to mark the one-year anniversary of the state of emergency. The union still adamant that the SOE was imposed to stop their mobilization efforts in the lead-up to the national shutdown back in 2011. OWTU President Ansel Roger wants to know what has been done to all those affected by the state of emergency. The arrest of some 8,000 young black males. Where are those black males today? Anybody could say? If any one of those cases was successfully prosecuted in the courts, nobody could say. What of the, what of the event that would have made 1990 look like a garden party? What of the minister? What of the attorney general? Where are all those people who are talking like Bajon? The unions took their silent protests to the Hall of Justice and then to the Parliament. Roger says one year later it is clear that the state of emergency was a colossal failure. The SOE failed to meet its stated objective. That is to say, it was to deal with crime. Today, crime is higher than it was last year. That's the first point. Secondly, uh, in terms of the trade union movement, you would recall that as the SOE was lifted, the Petrochin workers came out and the Friday of that week we had a mass demonstration in Port of Spain. What it did, it made the workers more conscious and more aware. The state of emergency lasted August 21st to December 5th, 2011. And the Joint Trade Union Movement says as long as the People's Partnership Government is in office, the day will be commemorated every year. He says the state of emergency is an indication of what the government is really about. For CNC3, I am Otto Carrington.